Hello, y'all. Redneck country coming at you. It is a beautiful day here in southern Indiana. I'm enjoying it. It's peaceful. The birds are chirping. Sun shines out. It's a great day for cooking and grilling, folks. Yes, you heard that right. I'm a grilling. Got some uh, grilled chicken on the grill. Seasoned. I'm only give about one of them, my seasoning I'll put on them. And that will be garlic roasted and herb. It's pretty good. Love it. And on the top here, got some creek fries, y'all. Pretty good. Can't wait to eat it. You no. Know, I just love today. Today was a great day for grilling. It is a great day for grilling. Sorry. Edit that up. Sorry, y'all. I do look a little scuffy. I uh, need a shave a bit. Looks like. Yep. There we are. Stay out of the sunlight. Uh. So. For all y'all that. Uh. was watching YouTube channel a while back that I was on uh yes things have happened but you know it's all good now you know I'm happy cause honestly I'm back with the one I was originally with before her but you know what I'm happy y'all so happy like it's not freedom or anything I got with the one I'm with right now. It's nothing like that. It's the fact that the one I'm with right now, y'all, she's just amazing to me. Uh, she's always there. She knows exactly what to say. She, she's completely fucking different. She ain't playing no games. She knows what to do. She knows when to do it. I'm not trying to sound like an asshole. But, you know, she treats me right, y'all. And, you know what? To me, that's the only thing that really matters. And, really, just, you know, I'm grateful to have her. Like, so grateful. She's my everything. She's originally my high school sweetheart. And she forever will. And honey, if you're watching this, I love you. And you know what? Today is actually her first day starting her first actual job ever. Uh, she's 16 going on 17. Her birthday's coming up right around the corner. And you know what? Honey, I hope you have a great day at work. It's your first day. And what? Well, this first real blog I'm doing on your first day at work. So, you know, it's. I don't know, y'all. It's. It's a new step for her and I both. But it's a big step for her. Because. She's. She's working. She's working. She's not only doing that, but she's schooling. She's working. And, you know, here recently we've only been, well, with our work, my work schedule, her being at school, uh, you know, she was always, we would only see each other on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Well, Tuesdays and Thursdays got completely wiped out because of her going to work. So now really the only way we'll see each other is either if we video call or uh, on Mondays. And, you know, it just kills me that we won't have that much time together as we have been. But, you know, I guess... 
like she said, we got to make sacrifices that we don't want to do, but, I mean, in the end, it's all going to be worth it. I mean, with her working now, we and her both can be saving up, getting our own place together, and getting vehicles. Uh, you know, it, it's a big step, yo. It's a really, really big step for us and the relationship. But you know what? I'll tell you all this right now. Me and her have been through our ups and downs, y'all. And we still stick to each other's sides. We don't give up on one another. And we actually, unlike, all right, if any of y'all are watching this, I'm not calling any of you out or anything, but like, we, when we hit a bump in our road, we actually talk about what happened. We actually talk about what's going on. You know, we confront one another. Like, that, really, ain't that how a relationship should be? Like, come on, y'all. And, you know, she's everything, dude. She's my world. Uh, about a month ago, I talked to her about doing these, and you know what? Uh, she's. I asked her to be in them. She said, "Well, she'll watch me do them, but give her a little time, and y'all will see her. Hopefully, I really would love to have her in these, cause you know I hate being it by myself, and you know it's." gets boring after a while whenever you do them by yourself and I would love to have my high school sweetheart next to me doing these and it's you know I don't know y'all but like I did say it is a great day uh you know for just being out here cooking Enjoying the day, and it's not that hard to enjoy a day. It's really not, y'all. Uh, in a little bit, uh, when this uploads, you I'm gonna cut this out. Maybe I don't know, but you know what? Here in a little while, I'm gonna be going to the city lake, town lake. And, you know, it's really amazing from what I've heard. And, you know, but I just wait to, I can't wait to get out there. That's one of my plans for today, you know, since I ain't going to be able to see my girl today. So, you know, it's, you know, today's a great day to go out, you know, walking around, explore, you know, because, I mean, literally. All I've walked from around here, go straight down that road, right down there, you'll hit my work. Go straight down there, keep going straight, you'll hit my work. So as far as I've walked, and from down there, all the way, basically, from what you all are seeing right now, to over there, is the town of Dale. And it's a small town, you know, everybody gets along, everybody helps out one another, nobody really causes a fight or anything, you know, people around here are just sweet, you know, kind, caring, and, you know, folks around here, they actually care about other people, and pretty sure we'll all help one another if anything does break loose, but, you know, I mean, I don't know, y'all. It, it's just a great place. It's a quiet town. It's out in the middle of nowhere. Actually, it's right off the main interstate that runs through Indiana. I honestly think that inter highway, or whatever y'all want to call it, runs through about seven dis different states. And I actually think it leads all the way down to Florida, if y'all actually follow it. Yeah. Yeah, I think it does, because this highway goes through Kentucky 
and give us into Owensboro. Then through Owensboro goes to Louisville. Then goes to it goes all the way back to Missouri. And then it goes down to South Carolina, Georgia, then Florida. You know, we live next to one of the world's you know well, one of the biggest highways here in the United States. Uh you know, like I said, it's a quiet little town. And you know what? I love it. But you know what? See all this? See all that? See it? 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 Look at it. There's one over there. Look at it. There's one over there. Right there. 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 I'm talking about houses, y'all. I want to be out in the middle of nowhere where, you know, I can be as loud as I want, can do whatever I want, you know, just have fun, throw parties. Out here, can't really do much here in town, but, you know, Dale actually does have the outskirts around here, and the outskirts are just amazing. And you know what, y'all? I'll actually hand a little bit. You probably all will be seeing that. And I'll show you, whenever I walk in, I'll show you sides, I'll, sit, I'll show you part of Dale. It's pretty good, it's, it's a good walk. Uh, I think, all in all distance of walking, it's probably about seven miles. Yeah. Probably where, where I'm getting to today, it's probably about seven miles. And then seven miles back. That's a total of 14 miles right there, folks. You know, it's, it's all good. But, alright folks, whenever I get back to you, y'all will see me walking. For now, keep it country, y'all. Finish this up, and then I'm going to head out. So, see you here in a little bit. Keep it country. Alright guys, here I am, walking on this lonely country road came from way back there and uh i've been walking this for a little while trying to figure out what this noise and buzzing is i can't hear it now but i do imagine if i do keep walking down i will hear it again uh it turns out to be the power lines they're buzzing don't know why it's kind of weird I never heard buzzing on a power line. I mean, unless I was close to a one of them giant arm robot looking motherfuckers. And, you know. But actually, here I'm going to show y'all just a minute right here. Actually, right over there is where me and my cousin Christian came out. And we came over there. And we came across this creek. It's not this one, but it's way over there. Uh, it was Saturday night, which was a couple days ago. And we were actually walking out through here. And we got trapped in that field back there. And we couldn't cross. So we had to walk all the way back. We were on our way home. And on our way back, out through that field... It just starts down pouring and everything. We finally again get way out there uh, by those buildings. If you all can see, there's a school bus by some old barn, uh, which is actually a cabin uh, for Holiday World comers. I mean, if y'all know Indiana, if y'all come to Holiday World, y'all can actually rent that out while you're up here staying. Uh, so. We went all the way down on that road. So we thought it'd be a lot quicker. And, you know, let me point this out to you. From straight ahead, from where I'm coming from, which I got about another mile and a half to get to where I'm going, uh, all the way around, all the way over there, all the way to right over there, if y'all can actually see the tip of the ball field lights. That's actually right about where my house is located. And, 
you know, that was a pretty good walk. Like I said, it's about a seven mile walk to there, but back it's about 14.5 mile. Uh, you know, I, d I never really looked at it, but I mean, it's really amazing. It's peaceful. The car coming by. Hello. I'm just walking around. Oh, are you? Yeah. Okay. Alright, thank you. Actually, cool thing about that guy that y'all just seen. Uh, he's actually helped me out a lot, a lot. He'll see me walking down on that back road. I don't know which way I want to take. I think I'm going to take the long way around. But actually, I took that long. Sorry. I usually take that road back behind me. Way the fuck back there. You can see it in the first hill, top, second hill. At the top of that is the next road. And, uh, I, I walked that road. I don't know if y'all can hear it, but the buzzing just started again. It's really weird. I wonder if it'll get louder. No, it's very faint. I can hear it, but uh, like I was saying, I usually walk that road down to work, which looking from here, work would be right about the top of that tree that's peeking over the hill. That's where it works at for me. And a couple days when it's cold and whatnot, that old man that just came by, this is another thing called, like, like I was talking about earlier. People around here love to help each other. Uh, he's actually giving me a ride a couple times to work. I mean, I got no vehicle. I do walk. Uh, but explain my fucking fatness, dude. Like, seriously. I don't know how in the fuck I got it. Uh, but anyway, like I was saying, he's helped me out a lot. Well... More than I would ask anybody to help me out. Can y'all hear that? Like, that buzzing just got louder. Yeah. That's what I was talking about. But anyway, sorry, I get distracted a lot. Uh, like I was saying, he's a real nice person. I do appreciate him. I actually think he's a veteran. But if y'all watch this and y'all are in the U.S. Army or military or whatever, it don't matter what branch you're in. I do appreciate y'all support everything that y'all do and I you know what without y'all right now all of you fine men and women that go out of your way to leave family members behind not be able to see with months years at a time out there fighting for our freedom if y'all weren't doing that right now I guarantee you I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing right now I guarantee you our country would be taken over. I guarantee you men, army men, would be patrolling this area lightly because it's, honestly, it's not a big uh, town, so it's going to be patrolled lightly. So, I want to take the minute right now, show y'all something. It's a perfect view. All right, right over there about where Dale begins and ends but it goes all the way out here and then back around over there that's about how big Dale is like you can see it from here and like I said if we got taken over I'm pretty sure about 98.5 percent of the people that live here in Dale own a firearm and I guarantee you we won't let anybody take over anybody 
Because I guarantee you, if somebody tries to take over my fucking land, the boots I'm in right now won't be made for a walking anymore. It mean, it'd be to march back for our freedom. And you know, like I said, y'all, I do appreciate all the firemen and women that are in the military as I speak. I wonder if that's DEA. I hear a helicopter, but I don't see it. Oh, never mind. It ain't a helicopter. It's a plane. It's a private plane. A lot of people fly private planes around here. Uh, I know there's about eight miles, which I'm going east right now. If you go north, about eight miles, there's that little airport. No, it ain't about eight miles. It's probably about six miles away from here. Is a little town called Honeyburg, which is originally where I was born. And they got their own private airport. Actually, my uncle Scott, he's he's got his own private plane out there. I've never been running it. I never rode in it or anything. But I really want to. Don't mean I won't bring it up at Thanksgiving or Easter or anything. Because that's about the only time I see him is at grandparents' house. And, uh, you know, it's just an amazing day. And I hope y'all are enjoying this. Well, I'm going to pause this for now. I will. I made a pretty good way. Started back off there whenever I passed that house. But anyway, I'm going to stop this right here. I'm going to wait till I get up to where I'm going. And then, yeah, we'll get this going. All right, y'all. I'm back. Finally made it. Yeah, I know it took a little bit, but for y'all, it's going to be like a second. I stopped by and talked to that old guy that stopped next to me on the road. Talked to him for a minute. And, uh... <clears throat> Yeah, so, uh, pretty peaceful out here. Like, hardly anybody comes out here. Uh, yeah. So, I'm gonna give y'all a quick look around. So, there's the dam. It's dried up right there in some spots in here. I don't know how in the fuck it did it, but it did. And then, over here, we got the bridge. And if you look, right over there, right there, somebody tried to do the Punisher sign and failed. And next to it, somebody put 2000 plus 15 equals 2015, which is really fucking stupid. But sorry, y'all. Uh, but like I was saying, it, it's just so amazing out here. Hold on, let me get you a closer view of what it looks like down here. I'm not gonna lie, shit's pretty fucking slippery, so I'm trying to be careful. about went try to get over here in this dry spot here here we are there's the view of it now uh 
yesterday my cousin and his buddy came out here they said that they were playing around sliding and shit i mean i do see some shoe tracks uh don't know exactly where he slipped but from the looks of it he slipped right over there somewhere about five feet from the wall or he could also slip right over here i see some scrapes but he went sliding all the way down here hold on y'all try to get over here all right now down there is a barricade it's got like in between barricades and i'll tell you what he came down smacking on it and let me tell you it must have fucking hurt so you know what? i'm gonna do something for the shits and giggles Hold on, y'all. There you have it, folks, right there. Right in that country. Yee. Also put YouTube down there. So y'all don't forget that. So, yeah, folks. Bad motherfucker, BMF, I'm in the rusty buck, like go.